Isa Alleluia Isa O oh, sing this our normal song our horemo anthem Anika bwabu kene dika bu kende government na bo wedi na kura kwakara so that you greet one another well this is a non-denominational ministry and it shall remain so until the rapture hallelujah he said i don't care what church you belong to but as far as in jesus you stand if by grace through faith you have been saved sing the song twice i don't care what tribe you belong to but as far as in jesus we start if by grace through faith you have been saved then you are my brother you are my sister I don't care what, what tribe you belong to, but as far as in Jesus you stay, if by grace to faith you have been saved, you are my brother, so give me your Hallelujah. You're my sister, so give me your hand. One more time. I don't care what tribe you belong to. Help my brother. As far as in Jesus you stand. In my face. Hallelujah. You can 
sit down and let us pray almighty father we are grateful to be standing in Kuali delta state today we worship you divine you love this people you want to let them know they are not forgotten by you that is why what you do to big cities you come to do here also once you do to various nations of the world you have come to do here also thank you jesus thank you jesus let the people appreciate you realize your vision over these people in jesus name we pray amen the spirit of the lord stirred up crusades in various places or many places within a short time this started the, um, October last month, October 3rd. Amen. He said. October 3rd, we were in Port Harcourt. On one October, the Nobote Tor, I joined Port Harcourt. Holiness Revival Movement. For crusade. Many gave their lives to Christ. Many consecrated themselves for Jesus. Many identified with Holiness Revival Movement. After that, we went to Bayelsa, Yanagua. Again, the Lord came mightily among his people. Many turned to the Lord. Many reconsecrated their lives. Many consecrated themselves to serve the Lord in holiness and in righteousness. And many pledged to identify with holiness revival movement. After that, we went to Owere. Imo State. Imo. Holiness Revival Movement. And the Lord did the same there. We returned to Abuja. And uh, held the program uh, Minister's Convocation. That brought church founders and ministers all over Nigeria together. And we had a wonderful time there. After that, before minister's convocation, we went back and came for the prayer breakfast. How many of you watched the prayer breakfast? National Ma prayer breakfast. At the National House of Assembly. Ne, ne, um, a House of Assembly. That's prayer breakfast where the National House of Assembly uh, invited various people to pray along with them, the Christians. It was held in the International Christian Center. 
After that, we came to Omo here for crusade. And from Omo here, we went to Aba for crusade. It was in Aba that Jesus Christ came to us. And gave us the message of his soon coming. In a revelation. He said, How many of you have heard the testimony already? You have heard it. Very few. Uh, maybe Mom and Linda will give you the detail in her testimony to, in the evening. But what the Lord came to say, he said, his time for the rapture is up. The Lord raised up his war clock and the war clock showed the hour hand at 12, the minute hand at 12. Uh, the Lord and he said, my time is different from the time of the world. What is left now is extra time of 30 seconds if there was in the caracada i carry one in tabanya as the tick of the seconds move to six means means 30 seconds mm. there shall be a trumpet sound ellen wo ogu again i got can 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 carry beru also nearly out by work he opened the cloud and the, the angels and saints were seated on white horses, ready to come in. And he said, He has observed how I am walking for him around the world. He said, my servant there, my son there, desires to win the world for me. He desires to gather all as much as he can gather. But even he, I know he is tired. I am tired with man. I'm tired with mankind. I'm able to bring them to myself. They come and go back. They come, they go back. They will make promise. They're not standing by it. I'm tired. The ones that I have even gathered are going back. If I don't end up this business, I will lose them. And I told my wife in the revelation, tell my son to run up what he's doing, so let's be going. The ones we have, we can gather now. Let's go and close the chapter. That is what the Lord says. The time is 30 seconds. Extra time given for mankind. Are you not blessed people therefore? That within the remaining 30 seconds, the Lord, the Lord brought us to talk to you. Are you not a blessed person? Will you not will you say the Lord doesn't love you? That 
Where, how many places are we going to go again? That he said the remaining 30 seconds come to Kuali also. So after the minister's convocation, it was time for Delta. I could have said, all of you go to worry. I felt within me, no, let's split Delta into two. Let there be another center. And from here, I am rounding up in Benin City. To go back and prepare for December conference. Make the best use of this period. Clean up yourself. That's why we have come here. We are going to be here now, evening and tomorrow morning. All to get you ready for heaven. Cooperate in Jesus' name. I'm talking to you on the coming of the Lord Jesus is now. You can put it, the return of the Lord Jesus is now. You can put it, the rapture is now. The rapture is now. In Malachi chapter 3. Verse 1. To verse 5. Behold, I will send my messenger. And he shall prepare the way before me. And the Lord whom ye seek shall suddenly come to his temple. Even the messenger of the covenant whom ye delight in Behold, he shall come, saith the Lord of hosts. Get that scripture. It applied to John the Baptist concerning the first coming of the Lord Jesus Christ. Why? Because the children of Israel had backslidden. And the Lord now said, I'm going to send before you a messenger that will prepare my way. Then I will come. This referred to the coming of John the Baptist. In chapter 4 of Malachi, verse 5, he said the something. Behold, I will send you Elijah the prophet before the coming of the great and terrible day of the Lord. I'm going to send Elijah. What will Elijah do? Verse 6. And he shall turn the heart of the fathers to the children. And the heart of the children to their fathers. Lest I come and smite the earth with a curse. Can you see now? 
Elijah is coming to do reconciliation work. Elijah be akoko be bo che gbata. All these scattered people, Elijah will bring them together. O sanda na ba ya fun ni Elijah be akoko be okume we. All these people who are in disagreement with one another, Elijah will come and cause them to agree. O sanda na ni di ne kun e kwe ye, Elijah de ka bia be memo kwe ku kwe ye. Before the day of the Lord. Before the, the great day of the Lord. Before the terrible day of the Lord. Before the Lord appears. Before the day of judgment. Otherwise, the people shall be cursed by God. Otherwise, the people shall be damned in fire. You notice here that God is not happy when people disagree. God is not happy when you have problem with one another and cannot settle it. Problem with your brother. Problem with your sister. Problem with your father. Problem with your mother. Problem with your wife. Problem with your husband. Problem with your friend. Problem with a neighbor. And you cannot settle that problem. No. It will attract the judgment of God. No, we say to me, but you go. But I'm sending Elijah. Because you see Elijah to walk on those people. God, we are running to man on the no. To bring their hearts together again. Go, me me work. Where will it go for be? Now again, see what the Lord says. When you fetch Kukuni in Malachi three verse one. I come from Malachi six to go with Sakofu. Behold, I will send my messenger. And he shall prepare the way before me. And he shall prepare the way before me. And the Lord whom ye seek shall suddenly come to his temple. When he has prepared the way, the Lord will come. If the governor is coming to this city, the siren will come first. These people with special motorcycle will come first. Some interage will come first. What are they coming to do? To prepare the way for the governor. That, that is coming to now to the city. That is what the God of heaven is saying. Before Jesus came to the earth, he sent messenger before him. In Isaiah chapter 40. Isaiah chapter 40. I read verse 3. And verse, verse 3 to 5. The voice of him that crieth in the wilderness. Prepare ye the way of the Lord. Make straight in the desert a highway for our God. Every valley shall be exalted. And every mountain and hill shall be made low. And the crooked shall be made straight. And the rough places plain. And the glory of the Lord shall be revealed. 
And all flesh shall see it together. For the mount of the Lord has spoken it. It's a voice. The voice of the messenger. Which the Lord had said he would send. This voice will be saying. Prepare the way of the Lord. Make straight his own path. All those crooked things you are doing, stop them. Let the valley be lifted up. It's a highway that the Lord will follow. Let those who have backsliding rise back to righteousness. Let the hills be leveled. Let proud men and proud women come to humility. Because the Lord is coming. The Lord is coming. The voice crying in the wilderness. So they sent people to John the Baptist. And asked him, Who are you? Are you the Messiah that we are expecting? He said, No. I am not the Messiah. Then they asked him, Who are you then? He said, I am a voice. I am a voice. Crying in the wilderness. And shouting to the people. Prepare ye the way of the Lord. Make straight his own path. That is what John told them. I am not the Messiah. I came to announce the Messiah. Attention should not be given to me. Glory is not mine. I seek not my own honor. I seek not my own name. I am not seeking my own worship. I seek the worship of the Messiah. Whose Shoe lashed, I am not able to, to untie it. That is the one I am announcing. I am saying, make straight the crooked path in your life. You Sadducees, Pharisees, brook of vipers, repent and not just say, I have Abraham for a father. The, the judgment of God is about to fall. Repent of your way. Now, all this was done concerning the first coming of Jesus. Why? The children of Israel backslided. They left the path of righteousness. They left the path of justice. Every man was doing whatever he liked. Now, Jesus came and finished the work. He planted his church. The church grew and filled the earth. But now eventually the church is gone. 
Every church is doing his own thing now. Every pastor is doing his own thing now. As the various names of denominations are, so are the various beliefs and practices. Eventually, Jesus is no more the center of attraction in the church. The pastors and the bishops and the word have become the center of attraction. Members of the church are sinners. They don't know righteousness. They have corrupted themselves. They have gone into witchcraft. They have gone into drunkenness. They have gone into adultery. Parents are no more in agreement with their children. Husbands and wives are no more together. People are oppressing one another in the church. The bigger ones are oppressing the younger ones. And now the Lord is coming. Now the Lord is coming. And he has to send warning to the church. He has to send warning to people. He has to send warning to the ministers. And say, I am coming. At this time, not to save you. I am coming with judgment. If you don't change, you will, be, you will enter into the hands of the living God. I say fearful things to fall into the hands of the angry God. The rapture is at hand. The young boys and the young girls that have gone into immorality, let them be told the end of all things at hand. They who have gone into wretchedness, nakedness of dressing, should know that judgment is hanging on them. That's why the Lord again now is saying concerning his coming in the rapture to take his people. Malachi chapter 3. Behold, I will send my messenger and he shall prepare the way before me. And the Lord whom ye seek shall suddenly come to his temple. The Lord has raised up people to announce his coming. He has raised up true preachers, righteous preachers, to announce his coming, his return. He raised up holiness revival movement and commissioned them to go and do special work among men to reconcile them with each other. To purify the corrupt people. Reconcile them to God. Warn them of divine judgment. Yes, because the Lord that we have been singing about, talking about, is suddenly coming now. It is his time. He's already around. He said it is now in second. And we were privileged, I am privileged to receive the message from God 
directly go and tell my son I am privileged to receive that message. I am privileged to be a minister of the end time to bring righteousness back to the church. I feel blessed that you drop into the sea, you were wallowing, and that I, I am one of the privileged persons to come and stretch forth my hand to you to draw you out of that water. You're falling into a deep ditch, into a deep pit. I am privileged to be one that the Lord has given the rope of life to put it down to you. Hold your hand so I can pull you. Thank God for the energy. Thank God for the power that God has given me to pull you out of the horrible pit so you can live. <laughs> That is it now. Behold, I will send my messenger. And he shall prepare the way before me. And the Lord whom ye seek shall suddenly come to his temple. Even the messenger of the covenant whom ye delight in you delight to go to heaven and the Lord says be of comfort fear not it is your father's good pleasure to give you the kingdom I go to prepare a place for you. And when I prepare a place for you, I'm coming back to pick you. That where I am, there ye may be also. The Lord has sent messengers of this covenant to prepare you because he's already coming he is preparing you because he's already coming to draw you to himself because he's already coming it is not a matter of seconds and that's why he has sent the messenger of covenant the agreement he has with you to give you heaven and now you're not ready for heaven the Lord wants to make you ready you're not thinking of heaven the Lord wants to make you think of heaven because there's no more time you're lost into the world and the Lord wants to draw you back from the world you're lost into immorality the, the Lord wants to draw you from immorality. He wants to draw you and pull you up from that lady. He wants to pull you up from that boy. He wants to pull you up from that man. Because there is the desire to give you the kingdom. He wants to give you the kingdom. He is already coming. It is a matter of seconds. That is why the Lord says, Come and tell them to prepare. Come and tell her to prepare. Come and tell him to prepare. I'm telling you, prepare. The Lord whom you are seeking for shall soon come. The Lord whom you are looking for shall soon come. It has been since you were born. You heard he is coming. He is coming. But now he is coming now. This, uh, this is the moment of his coming. Listen, he said, If I delay my coming, I will lose even the ones I have. Because the devil's work is carrying them. Satan is tough in his situation. 
He has raised up the value of money. He has made money scarce. He has introduced hardship to the society. And people are selling their birthright for money. Their, their mouths cannot tell the truth anymore. Because how will they tell the truth? Then what would they eat? They compromise everything for money. People are selling the souls of one another for money. Now, pastors, how many of your members will you give me? Then I give you this. Ah, you don't know. They're trading with human souls. Even to the church. They're trading with human souls. And the Lord said, if I don't come now, I will lose the one I have. That is why the Lord said, tell them, I am coming now. Look up to the sky. He is coming now. Prepare. He's coming now. It's not the, the historical coming. This is actual coming. But who may abide the day of his coming? And who will stand when he appeared? For he is like a refiner's fire and like a fuller's soul. He, he is a fire passing people through fire to purge it. He did this when he came. The ministers of the gospel sent by him must achieve this in your life. You will be passed through fire. To bond up all those dirty things in your life. As the gold is passed through fire. For the dust to be burnt up. The fire of the truth. You abandoned the truth and lived the way you wanted. We have to spell the truth for you again. You will have to pass through the truth. You have to come back and follow the path of truth. This is the fire. We must tell you the doctrines of truth. The doctrines of righteousness. We must present to you God's demand of holiness. We pass that through you. We pass the truth to husbands and wives. We pass the truth to the young ones in the society. We pass the truth to churches, whatever they are. The truth of the doctrines of Christ. When we begin to tell you clear off your jewelry is dirty before God. That is the fire. That is the fire. If you pass through that, you are cleaning away the dirty things in your life. When we tell you your withdrawn and attachment, get rid of them. We are passing you through fire. We are asking that those dirty things be burnt up in your life. These are the dirty things that kept you far from God. These are the dirty things that kept you far from God. When we tell you all this painting of your lips all these fixing things you fix in your fingers and in your eye get them push out of your life it is the refiner's fire to burn up these dirty things in your life 
When we bring you to the doctrines of restitution, whatever you have stolen, go and settle with the man. Go and settle with the person you stole that thing from. Go and confess your hidden crime. Go on up to the government. On up to your parents. On up to all this. We are passing you through fire. Because the Lord is coming. He is the God of holiness. Every dirty thing must be burnt out in your life. Every dirty thing must be burnt out from your life. We will tell you. Go and do your restitution. You have married wrongly. The law of God is one man, one woman until death do them pass. You you cannot divorce and remarry. It's against God. And therefore, if you are a second wife in a marriage, you are dirty. You cannot see God. Get out of the family. If you have married a wife when you have a wife before, a genuine wife, and you get married to another, forget your Christianity. Forget the titles you bear. Forget whatever you're doing around the society. In the name of Jesus, you are already excluded from the the kingdom of God. Because he that divorces is whoever marries another is committing adultery. And no adulterer has anything to do with God. And the of God. Ah, but we have children already. The word of God is more important than children. You die and leave the children to go and face reality over there. Purge up those things. Clear those things. Reconcile. That is the word of God. That is to purge. That is the refiner's fire. Who can have Abide in the day of the messenger of the Lord. That, that shall be spelling the demands of God for heaven. But there's no other way. There's no other way. This is the way. But who me abide in his in the, in the day of his coming? And who shall stand when he appears? For he is like a refiner's fire. And like the fuller soap, the soap that will wash and purge and purge and purge out deaths. We are, we are giving you this thing. We are washing you with the fuller soap. To wash all these things but biting in your tongue gossip in your tongue criticism in your tongue we are getting these things washed out from your life the Lord is coming and the coming of the Lord is now that polluted eye the eyes of immorality lustful eyes this full of soap will wash those lusts mm. out of your eyes the eyes that specialize in looking at women the eyes that specialize in looking up and down men. Uh, the full soap must do special work in your eyes. To make your eyes pure. To make your eyes clean. So you can go in the rapture. The Bible says, I will give you a new heart. I will take away the stubborn heart out of your flesh. 
I will give you the heart of flesh. A heart of love. A heart of humility. A heart of patience. A heart that can bear it. I will give you the heart. A heart of obedience that will make you obey the Lord. That will make you obey the leader God has set over you in righteousness. I, I will give you that heart. This is the time for that. All murmurings will stop. All envies will stop. All pride will stop. All fightings will stop. All fleshly struggling will stop. And your heart shall be clean. You will love your brother as yourself. In 30 seconds. The rapture is now. The rapture is now. The rapture is now. It might be when I turn off from this place, it shall happen. Then the Lord, whom you have been hearing about, He shall suddenly, He shall suddenly. He shall come without your knowing in the night or in the day. You will hear it. The people have gone. You will see it. The people have gone. If you have ears to hear what I'm saying, to remove your hands from iniquity. If you have ears to hear what I'm saying, to go back home and repair your way. All those you are not in talking terms with. You go home and rectify your way. If you have ears to hear what I'm saying, to go and settle with your parents. If you have ears to hear what I'm saying, to go and settle with your wife, to go and settle with your husband. If you have ears to hear what I'm saying, to go back to your workplace and settle. Hey, when the people shall be disappearing you, you will join them I say you will join them I say you will join them because the Lord loves you that's why I send a messenger to you to thoroughly patch your life all those dirty cloths you have in your boxes go and burn them on fire clear them out of the way and change and change and be a new person if any man be in Christ he is a new creature God wants you to be a new creature. And therefore, all pastors and members alike, the Lord is speaking to you. All elders of the church and members of the church, the Lord is speaking to you. And the church has gone astray. And the Lord has sent before you to prepare you. And he shall see it as a refiner and a purifier of silver. And he shall purify the sons of Levi. And push them as gold and silver. That, that they may offer unto the Lord an offering in righteousness. All these songs you are singing and dancing in your nakedness, don't reach heaven. Don't reach heaven. There's no network. 
Iniquity in your life, iniquity allowed into the church blocks heavenly network. Enjoy sending the end to enjoy the no car. Your voice doesn't reach heaven. Your preaching doesn't receive the blessing of heaven. All these things you are doing has not heaven recognition. Wow! He said, When you raise up my, your hand, I will turn my eyes on you. Your hands are defiled with blood. Your mouth filled with criticism. Your body filled with immorality. How will that voice reach heaven? How will it reach heaven? No need to walk. No need to walk. That can take your voice to heaven. The need to walk around you is not walking. Iniquity has blocked it. But when the Lord chisels out iniquity out of your life, when you confess and change, then shall there be need work in your life. Then shall there be, shall the offering of Judah and Jerusalem be pleasant unto the Lord. Jerusalem, Judah, your, your Christian service shall receive, shall be received by God. Your songs and worship shall be heard by God. Your charitable works shall be received by God. It's after all this attachment and we are removed from you. It's after these charms that you have tied down yourself and have buried here and there and sprinkled here and there and washed out of your life. It's after this your 419 business type of life this thing you're doing as a young boy speaking languages of evil and moving about and kidnapping instilling it's when you stop it then heavenly network shall be open when you say God, he says, I'm hearing you. You will pray and your prayer will reach heaven. And angels shall attend to you. Then your name will be written in the book of life. A blessed day, my brother. That God brought the form to go to heaven close to you that you sign and put your name. You will sign. Will you want to sign the form? I'm asking. Will you want to sign the form? You, you are blessed. Yeah. I think when you stand up, you first thank God that he counts you worthy of heaven to bring this thing to your door mouth. Then you start repenting. You tell God, I'm sorry. Rise up upon your feet. Let's go before the Lord. It is the form of eternal life. It has just been brought to your doorstep. Call it. 
Tell God you are grateful. Tell God you are grateful. That you are counted worthy. For eternal life. That this thing came so close to you. Thank him. Thank him. Thank him. Thank him. Then go into the business of cleaning yourself. By confession to him. Confess your sin. Confess your sin. Promise him you won't do it again. Promise him you will repent of your sin. Promise him you will repent of your way. That you may be counted worthy to have your name in the book of life. Invite Jesus to take over your life. Invite Jesus to take over your life. Invite Jesus to take over your life. I have decided to follow Jesus. I have decided to come back to Jesus. I have decided to follow Jesus not turning back not turn sing it one more time that is the decision you are going to take now then confess your sins to him Promise him you will not do wickedness anymore. You have repented of your sins. Invite Jesus into your heart. I am decided to follow Jesus. No turning back. Move forward here if you have taken decision to follow Jesus. Be moving forward. Be moving forward. You have taken decision. Said, this thing has been brought to your doorstep. The, the form of eternal life. You want to come, come in, climb up, climb up. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, yes. The form of eternal life has come to your door mouth. No waste of time. No waste of time. No waste of time. No waste of time. The form of eternal life. To put your name there. Your name in the book of life. Has come right to your door Because the law whom you, you have been hearing about. Suddenly the law shall come. Suddenly the law shall come. Suddenly the law shall come. No Commit yourself to him and promise him. Promise him you will serve him. Promise him you will change your life. Ask him to serve you. 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 Suddenly the law is coming. Suddenly the law will come. Suddenly the law will come. This is a privilege. Let your life be changed now. Make a promise to go. Make a promise to go. Make a promise to go. You will serve him. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Praise your name, Lord.
We praise your name. I know Jai Madimene. Pray, talk to God. Bring yourself. Maria Nichukuka. Dingwen and Nemni. Biko Barem. Nenjom Nesane. Jordan in Chadancha and Jock and in Zuzo. Biko. Abiambe Kudibarin and John Nesane. Nequain Papatashi. Sita Naja Yubonyam Fe. Yubonyanke Feperi. Eku kwa kini wa sana nomo zong kumbia ka kwa mburi sa fam na adina kwa kendo na nyeze biko chiku na nyeri maka mburi nyeri ke biya kam sisa ni kwa nyeku ikete si chazo adowa i chazo adowa sisa ni nyeri ka kei sisa na mara kei sisa no kike kei biko chiku na dom o si fena sene dine dom ni dine ye yibalu a sugar go gay because you go by wolf away. He put on your game, put on your four. She didn't get an age. Who put on your four? Who be the one for Nebby? Nebby will ask all day. Nebby Mobbe Fed day. Nebby Kerekika day. Nebby Maroka day. Nebo Fed day. Nebo one Nebby day. Nebo no day. Nebo Bill no day. Nebo Zoy Togo. I fear Cobb all you bought day. Jago ba yenu meka. Osi fe kwe suji ni shimeta ni monya. Mata no ne biko samsa no nyanda o. Yenu meka jago ba. Promise to be with the Lord. Promise to serve God. Promise to serve Him with all your heart, with all your mind, with all your strength. Kwe chukungwa si jeke jefa. Si aiso kike soru. She said, No, so he came. She said, No, so boy. She said, No, see, feel when he she done it. No more, I do. Eka my go and more. Eka my go or go. Eka my power fa. Eka my power cona. Eka may be when I was also. She done it, Jess. You come with Soru. You could get a Soru, Nay. In Jesus' name, we pray. Yes, sir. I pray for you now. Lord Jesus, I come to you this morning, bringing your sons and your daughters. Ask the Lord my God for your divine intervention in their lives. They have received your word, and they are convinced this day that it's appointed unto man wants to die, and after the death comes judgment. You don't want anybody to go on this judgment, but Lord, to be free from this judgment and come unto life. Father, we thank for the Lord Jesus you are sending to us very soon. Yes, we are preparing ourselves and wishing to be with him in heaven in the name of Jesus. Yes, sir. Father, we stand against every power in our land. Yes, sir. They have been fighting against Christianity. Mm. They have been fighting against us. Mm. That does not want us to submit ourselves fully to God. I rebuke the idols in the land. Yes, sir. The idols in the families. Yes, sir. I bind them in the name of Jesus. Yes, sir. I crush their powers in the name of Jesus. Yes, sir. I rebuke their torches in the name of Jesus. Yes, sir. All the kings, all the Urugbe, I bind you. Yes, sir. I come against you. Yes, sir. In the name of Jesus. Yes, sir. All the native daughters around, I bind their powers. Yes, sir. In the name of Jesus. Yes, sir. You have no power to claim any of these children any of this soul they are for god yes, and the lord has decided to save them you cannot draw them back in the name of jesus yes, sir. father god we thank you 
I cover them with the blood of Jesus. I speak the blood of Jesus upon them. The Lord, they are saved and they are sound mm. to serve you to the end. Mm. In the name of Jesus. Yes, Father God, we thank you. Receive all the glory. Write the names of these ones in your book of life. Yes, and prepare them for the coming of our Lord. Yes, in the name of Jesus. Yes, they will never go back again. Yes, they will never go back again. Yes, Ogbanje will renounce you. Yes, Witchcraft will renounce you. Yes, Wizards will renounce you. Yes, all the forms of marine spirit will renounce them. Yes, in the name of Jesus. Jesus. Yes, all the awkward powers fighting against your family mm. we renounce them today yes, sir. we renounce them today yes, sir. we command to lose their greed from your life yes, lose their greed from their lives yes, in the name of jesus yes, thank you father Bene, receive all the glory yes, for what you have done this morning mm. in jesus name we pray yes, sir. now as you stand up the time is short. You are going to make this confession. Remain standing, remain standing. Repeat after me. Lord Jesus. I have decided to follow you. No turning back. No turning back. Lord Jesus. I have given my life to you. Give me the power. To serve you. Without committing sin. Give me the power. To preach you and serve people through preaching. Give me the power to give testimony about my life. How I have found you that others also may find you. I make a promise I will do my restitution. Any evil property in my hand, I'm going to remove it. I'm going to destroy it. Jesus, yes, be with me. No, I, know. I want to go in the rapture. Don't forget me. As you have confessed, may the Lord hear your prayer. As you have confessed, may the Lord release, may the Lord release the power. May the Lord release the power upon your life. May the Lord release the power upon your life. Every evil melted to your life. Every evil grip be broken in your life. In Jesus' name, we declare. You can go and sit there. The message you have just listened to is a production of Holiness Revival Movement Worldwide. Holiness Revival Movement Worldwide is a non denominational ministry that is given to the propagation of Christ's righteousness and holiness in churches and nations of the world through crusades, revival meetings, production and spread of holiness literature and materials. For other spiritual materials, messages or inquiries, contact us on 0816 902 3948 or 0805-683-4323. You can also reach us through our email address, Holiness Revival Movement at gmail.com. God bless you. For God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son that whosoever believes in him should not perish but have everlasting life. 
For God sent not his son into the world to condemn the world, but that the world through him might be saved. Hallelujah. Jesus, I believe in you. You are my
you purchased me with your blood. You are my Lord and my Savior. You left your throne above and took up the form of a servant for my sin. Savior. Jesus, I believe. 